Okay, so in the previous lecture, we have discussed about the uh, water act and the air act and the environmental audit, right? Now, in this lecture, we discuss about the energy audit. Okay, so what do you mean by energy audit? Okay, and how it is conducted? So here, uh, the in this slide, the general introduction are given. So basically, the energy added is a vital link in the entire management chain, right? So the energy manager, while proposing the various courses of action and evaluating their consequences, it requires detailed information based to work from energy audit, attempts to balance a total energy input with its use and serve to identify all the energy streams in the system and qualify energy uses according to its discrete function. Right now. It will help in energy cost of the optimization, then pollution control, then safety aspect, and suggest the method to improve the operating and maintenance practices of the system. Right? It is instrumental in a coping with the situation of the variation in energy cost availability, then reliability of energy supply, decision of appropriate energy mix. Then decision on, on using uh, improved energy conservation equipment and installation and the technologies, right? Now, the objective of this energy uh, audit, which is it uh, provides the vital information based for overall energy conservation program covering essentially energy utilization analysis and evaluation of energy conservation measures, okay? Now, approach for this ad audit, which is the overall objective of the energy audit are uh, accomplished by first one, which is identifying area of improvement and formulation of energy conservation measures requiring no investment or marginal investment through the system, improvement and optimization of operations. Okay. Then, Identifying area requiring major investment by incorporation of modern energy efficient equipment and up upgradation of existing equipment. Okay. Now, aim of this energy audit, which is the first one, which is assessing present pattern of energy consumption in the different cost center of the operation. The second one, which is Relating energy inputs and production output, right? Then identifying the potential area of the thermal and electrical energy economy, right? Then highlighting the wastage in the major areas, okay? Then fixing of the energy saving potential target for individual cost centers, okay? Then implementation of measure of energy conservation and the realization of the same. Okay. So, these all are the aim of the energy audit. Now, the next one which is the identification of energy conservation opportunity. The first one which is which is the fuel substitution. Okay. So, what do you mean by fuel substitution? Is identifying the approximate fuel for the efficient energy conservation. Right. Then energy generation identifying, it means that the efficiency opportunity in the energy conservation equipment such as a captive power generation, then steam generation in the boilers, thermic fluid heating, optimal loading of the DG sets, then minimum excess air combustion with the boilers, then thermic fluid heating, uh, optimizing the system efficiency, then efficient energy conservation equipment, then biomass gasifies, then cogeneration, and then high efficiency DG setting, etc. Okay. Then energy distribution, it means that identifying the efficiency uh, opportunity network, such as a transformers, right? Then cables, then switch gears, and power factor improvement on electrical system 
and chilled water, cooling water, hot water, and compress and etc. Okay. Then energy uses by the processing. It means that this is a very uh, where the major opportunity for improvement in many of the MRP does, right? The process analysis is powerful tool for the process integrations major, right? Okay, so this is an identification of energy conservation technique. Now, the next topic which is the need of energy audit, okay? If any industry, the three top operating expense are often found to be energy, both electrical and the thermal, labor and the material, right? So, if one were to relate the manage, manageability of the cost or poten potential cost saving in not each of our component, so energy would invariably emerge as a top ringer and thus energy management function constitute a strategic area for the cost reduction, right? So, the energy audit will have to understand more about the way energy and fuel are used in any industry and help in identifying the areas where waste can occur and where scope of environment exists, right? Improvement will be exist, sorry. So, the energy audit will give a positive orientation to the energy cost, reduction, then preventive maintenance and quality control program which are vital for the production and utility activities, right? Uh, then such an audit programmer will help to keep focus on the variation which occur in the energy cost, then availability and reliability of supply of energy, then decide on the approximate energy mix, then identify energy conservation technologies, then retrofit for the energy conservation equipment and etc. In general, Energy audit is a translation of the conservation ideas into realities by lending technically feasible solution for with economic and other uh, organizational consideration within a specific time frame. Right. So the primary objective of this energy audit is to determine to reduce the energy consumption per unit of product output or to lower the operating cost. Energy audit provides a benchmark for managing energy in the organization and also provide the basis for planning a more effective use of energy throughout the organization. Right? So this is the need for the energy audit. Now the next topic which is the environmental impact assessment. It means EIA, it is the most important topic for the exam. So, what do you mean by environmental impact assessment? So, it can be defined as, it is a systematic identification and evaluation of the potential impact or effect of the proposed project, plan, program, then uh, legislative action and relative to the physical, chemical, biological, cultural and socio-economic component of the environment, right? Now, objective of this EIA is, uh, the first objective is to, this study is to provide the examination and assessment of the principal environmental impact of the industry, right? So, the overall objective of the assessment report are to identify and describe the elements of the environment already affected or likely to be affected by the, uh, by the or likely to cause adverse impact to the proposed project then including the natural and man-made environment, right? So, uh, the next one which is to identify and qualify the emission source, determine the significance of impact on the sensitive and potential affected users, right? Then to identify and qualify any potential losses or damages to the flora, fauna and the natural habitat, right? Then to determine the based on the knowledge whether the proposed investment may result in environmental impact or not, right? Then proposed mitigation and monitoring measure in the form of applicable safeguard documentation to address potential impact, okay? Then evaluate 
the existing institution capacity of the company cadre to manage the recommendation implementing the major outline in the environmental management and monitoring plan okay then provide recommendation to build capacity and strengthen environmental management okay so this all are the uh, objective of the environmental impact assessment right now the next topic which is the process of the eia okay so here on screen you can see that the process including in the following step right the first one which is the screening then second one which is the scoping third one which is the impact analysis then fourth one which is impact mitigation fifth one which is the reporting then sixth one which is the review okay then decision making and the last one which is the monitoring okay so this is the process of the eia okay in this process the detail the detail explanation are given but this detail explanation will study in the next lecture okay so in this lecture we discuss about the topic which is the first one which is the energy audit then need of the energy audit right then the eia and so what is eia it is a environmental process environmental impact assessment then the objective of the eia right and the last topic which is the process of eia okay so now this process will uh, detail explanation will i will give you in the next lecture right i hope you all understood about the today's lecture thank you for the watching thank you